<laughs> I spent seven old years on writing what they want to hear and all the fictional stories. Mm. I've been filling the space with romantic cliches. If we're honest, it's all kind of boring. Now that Hi guys, I'm Sang Kyung Long. Welcome to Asian at home and today I'm going to show you how to make noodle dish It's been a while since I shared the last noodle dish. So anyways, so I'm going to make Pork riblet noodles. This is Chinese style. When I went to Las Vegas, so this restaurant called Magic Noodles, they have this like a handful of noodles. And they, uh, my favorite was uh, the, from the menu was this riblet noodles. So I really want you to recreate at home. So that's what I'm doing today. So I have already crushed the 10 cloves of garlic and I'm going to put that into this large tea bag. Um, you can find this in Asian grocery store in the, you know, like the cooking tool section, or you can buy from Amazon online, uh, just research for like large size tea bags. Yeah, this is really useful, especially when you're making soup, you put a lot of this aromatic in it and just whoop, pick out and you have a clean soup. I just love it. Okay. 10 cloves of crushed garlic, crushed, not crushed, not crushed, it's not hard. <laughs> crushed garlic in it. Now in here, I'm going to add four slices of ginger. So make sure you use a fresh ginger. Fresh ginger has totally different flavor than uh, dried ginger. And one tablespoon of black peppercorn. It's gonna make this so nice and peppery without those little bit of you know, ground pepper just floating all around so now three bay leaf if your bay leaf are small actually use four of them and this is optional but for me it's not uh, but just because you don't have this doesn't mean you cannot make it which is licorice licorice four slices of four slices of licorice so licorice it gives like a little sweetness to this broth and this is a very unique flavor um, into this soup. It's not like a panjan or it's not like really strong, but it definitely bump up the flavor. So go ahead and go ahead and purchase it from Amazon. Very easy to find, or you can buy it from Asian grocery store, which is a lot cheaper. You can find. All right, so this is our flavor pack. I'm gonna just wrap it up. This is why I love using this one. Oh, nice and neat. When the soup is done, I just need a boop. <laughs> okay, now let's bring a large pot right here. This is, it says on the lid. This is a nine quart, nine quarter, nine, 8.5 liter. You can use a similar size of any pot that you have. Make sure it's big enough to put all the ingredients we are about to put it in here. So the first is four pounds of pork riblets. So since this is a riblet noodle, so you've got to have it, <laughs> I mean, obviously. But if you cannot find this cut at your local butcher shop or grocery store, go ahead and use uh, what do you call the country style ribs. Just cut into like a similar size as this, which is about two inch. I'm filming by myself right now, by the way. So weekdays, Jacob is at work, his military work, and I'm filming by myself. And I just realized I did not put any lip color on. This is what happened when Jacob's not around. I cannot go anywhere, I cannot do anything without him. So anyways, I have a pot right here. I am going to start to build all the, for the soup. Super easy, you just put everything in it, boil it, simmer it, you're done. And pretty much, that's pretty much it. So you will need four pounds of riblets. You could parboil like uh, blanch them in the boiling water and then rinse them off and then make the soup. I just decided to skip it this time. Usually I do it. And whenever I did the recipe testing, I did it as well. But then I decided to just skip it because this soup is not about the clarity. It's not about how clean the soup is because we're gonna pour the soy sauce for the seasoning anyway. So what's the point, you know what I mean? So anyways, and now we're gonna put this flavor packed 
and four dried shiitake mushrooms. This will add more depth of color and more depth of flavor to the soup. Really amazing. And then about two teaspoons worth rock sugar. You could use just two, two teaspoons of sugar, but I think rock sugar actually works better in this recipe. Balance all the flavor together. Large leek that I cut in half like this in lengthwise, but not on the root part. And then I clean all that up. Why I didn't cut all the way up in the rinse? That means it's like the, all the leaves were separated and whenever I'm trying to take it out, it'll be very pain in the butt to do it. Now in here, we're gonna pour five cups of chicken stock. 10 cups of water, just regular cold water. One cup of Shaoxing wine, Chinese cooking wine. If you cannot assume alcohol in your cooking, go ahead and just add one more cup of water. Don't want to use alcohol because you don't have it. Then go ahead and go to regular grocery store and get dry sherry. That will do. Now, let's add half cup of light soy sauce, light Chinese soy sauce. Light sauce in this recipe means light in color, not light in salty, okay? Not light in the sodium, it's light in color. So when it says a premium light soy sauce on the bottle in the Chinese soy sauce, means it's light in color, which is pretty much regular soy sauce. If you can find Chinese light soy sauce, that will be the best option for the best flavor. After the broth is boiled, you can go ahead and check a uh, taste if the saltiness is right for you or this is not quite salty enough for you, then go ahead and add like about a teaspoon of salt at a time and taste it again. But do not taste while they are like hard boiling because food actually tastes saltier whenever they are cold but more plain whenever they are hot, that's why. Okay, now I'm going to close this up and we are going to bring this to boil over high heat and when they are start boiling hard then we are going to skim all the scums out on the surface. Since we didn't blanch the ribs, there will be a lot of scums coming out from the bones. That's why I usually, you know, blanch the bones first and then it will be more clear soup. But today I'm just, just gonna, you know, wing it. I'm just gonna wing it. So anyways, uh, you're gonna skim the scums while hard boiling for about five to 10 minutes and then cover it back up, reduce the heat to medium to medium low and simmer for one and a half hours. When the soup is done, go ahead and remove all the solid ingredients from the soup. The flavor pocket, the leek, shiitake mushrooms, except the pork ribs. Leave the ribs in it though. My soup is about to be done, so I chop up some green onions, cilantro for the garnish later on put, to put on top of the noodle soup. It is so delicious and the fragrance hits the soup. It's beautiful. And I quartered my baby bok choy. You can use other vegetables. I really love the yu choy. You can use spinach or napa cabbage or even regular cabbage. So any kind of cabbage style, I guess cabbage category vegetables would definitely do for this recipe. And I brought large pot of salted water to boil to blend my bok choy and cook my noodles. So this is my favorite noodles. Uh, it's from my local Asian grocery store. In the frozen section, they have this uh, fresh wheat noodles and I love using these noodles for this recipe, noodles. Uh, but if you cannot find either fresh noodles or frozen noodles, go ahead and use a dried one. They work just perfectly fine. Whatever your favorite noodle. You can actually use egg noodles if you want, more thicker noodles than what I'm using, if that's what you like. I think the thin white wheat noodles is the best, but it's totally up to you. Okay, 
So into the bowl, I'm going to add another cooked noodles. Then I'm gonna arrange my bok choy. Like around the like half of the bowl, just arrange the bok choy nice and neat. If I didn't tell you yet, I'm super duper excited right now because I know how delicious this soup is. And it's even better actually the next day, tomorrow. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's where it's at, seriously. So you will need about two cups of the broth per serving. I mean, that's like how I'm doing with this size of bowl and this amount of noodles, but it could be a little different, you know. This looks so good already. I don't, I can't even, I can't even. And sprinkle some green onions, and some cilantro. Oh, I have to have a cilantro in this soup. Oh, come on now. And do you taste either my homemade chili oil? The recipe is right here. Whenever I made uh, chili oils in wonton, go ahead and check it out how to make this my Sichuan style chili oil. And it's the cherry on top of your sundae. Yes. Like without this, this soup might not complete, at least for my taste. I know some of you probably just like as it is, even though this is better option, but you can go ahead and find this Lao Gamma, the Chinese chili oil uh, with the chili flakes. This is amazing in here too, but I'm gonna use my homemade one because my homemade one has this Sichuan peppercorn in it and all. It is to die for. Oh, it just works amazing. Not only the oil, but the chili flakes part. Oh, that's the best. Oh, yes. Ooh, done. Ah! And some of them are thinking, oh, there's too many ribs compared to, you know, compared to the soup. What are we gonna do with the ribs? Don't worry. Let me show you something real quick. So I just drain the ribs from the soup just like this. Just a little bit, because you do want some ribs in your soup, trust me. I'm gonna dress up with some chili oil and maybe some green onion and cilantro, the chopped. Let's mix this together. Genius. Who else is a genius as me in the kitchen? Huh, no one, but Sangyang Longest. Oh, Jacob gonna be so jealous that I filmed this recipe without him. Oh yeah, so don't worry about you having too many ribs in your soup. I got you covered, girl, or dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I dig in now? I said it earlier, but taste the soup, and if it's not salty enough for your taste, I'm making a little more plain because I know I'm gonna add a lot of my chili oil, which is my chili oil has some salt and other stuff, other seasonings. So if you are just planning, plan, planning to eat the soup just as it is, as a mild version, then go ahead and maybe add a little salt. Oh, and by the way, check out down below of the video, my merchandise. Hey, support, support. Now, this is where it's at. Mm. The ribs are so tender, falling off from the bone. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody help me or I'm gonna die in the soup. Killer. Let me taste the ribs. They toss in the chili oil. This is amazing appetizer. Mm. Mm. Some of them might ask, is it really that good? Everybody, you have to, mm. oh yeah. If you haven't tasted it yet, 
Oh, don't even. You don't even know what you're talking about right now. Oh, uh, because I know what I'm talking about right now. This is. Mm. Mm. Samyang Longas doesn't deliver okay recipes. She only delivers amazing make you dance recipe. You know what I mean? If you guys are liking my riblet noodles, the best riblet noodles you will ever taste, or the best noodle soup you will ever taste. Oh, excuse me. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel if you haven't for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sang Long Gas. That wasn't a fast for the hour. I can't speak that fast now. <laughs> I'm Sang Long Gas. And this is Asian at home. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. And don't forget to take a picture if you ever cook my recipe. Ching ching. Go ahead and tag me on Instagram, Sangyang Longas, the Facebook, Sangyang Longas. Go ahead and tag me so I can shout you out back on my Instagram story or I can like and comment on your post. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye. Love you guys.